when you're taken care of here at Leahy, you're taken care of by a robust team of, of highly trained people. I think that the thing that makes us an international leader is the spectrum of clinical activity that we have, uh, the very strong academic bent to the department with its educational program. Its urology residency program is one of the most highly sought after in the country. We really feel that patients should get care, whatever aspect of care that they're getting, from an expert in that arena. So if that means robotic surgery, all of our robotic surgeons are well beyond the learning curve and they're all fellowship trained. I think that the benefits of minimally invasive surgery beyond just the smaller incisions are that there's less blood loss, better visualization of the, of the organ that we're working on, um, and perhaps a quicker recovery overall for the patient. Cancers that uh, we would like to find are those cancers that are uh, aggressive cancers, and those are the cancers that uh, need to be treated. I really like the fact that here at Lee Hospital Medical Center we work as a collective team. We have a group of physicians that are subspecialized in, in a very diverse aspects of urology, and we have no problems in terms of referring patients to other colleagues of ours. With a close relationship uh, with our radiologist, we have been able to find abnormal areas in the MRI that the radiologist can uh, mark and uh, we can target those areas uh, doing biopsies uh, when we fuse the images of the MRI with the real-time ultrasound. So the diagnosis of prostate cancer is a lot more precise now than it has been previously on the uh, standard methods of diagnosing. What we need to find are better markers that are more specific and accurate when screening for prostate cancer. And this is where the 4K uh, score comes into play and is a very useful tool in men uh, who are uh, being screened for prostate cancer. The thing is that one can get the score prior to getting a prostate needle biopsy. It gives a percentage risk of finding aggressive prostate cancer. Active surveillance is approach uh, to prostate cancer that recognizes that not all prostate cancer is deadly. It's become very clear over the last decade that patients with intermediate and high-risk prostate cancer have their lives saved by treatment, but patients with low-risk cancer are better off being watched carefully. We really want to treat patients as we would anyone in our own family. So from a research perspective, um, the Department of Urology is a leader in its field here at Leahy Hospital and Medical Center because um, we really invest in research here and we have um, our physicians who work very closely with our scientists and that leads to excellent translational research. And with that, we have three um, urology residents who come through the lab every year, so they actually spend one year in the lab benefit of working an area such as Leahy that has this collaborative effort involving not only the clinicians but also the research uh, that, that we have is extremely important uh, for our patients but also very satisfying from a clinical standpoint of view because we as clinicians are thus able to offer the best care possible for our patients. As far as our own uh, research projects go, mainly for prostate cancer, we're looking to see if we can come up with biomarkers that can stratify patients into um, indolent versus aggressive disease. And hopefully that will impact patients because some people who we think need to go to surgery can be on active surveillance instead if our biomarker panel shows that, or vice versa. In patients who have high-risk cancer, prostate cancer. We've developed an approach which I call multimodal therapy since basically it was a product of uh, my machinations about um, 10 or 15 years ago where we took high-risk prostate cancer patients, treated them with hormonal therapy for three to four months prior to surgery, then did radical prostatectomy, looked at the specimen and determined whether or not they had positive margins. And if they had positive margins, we would use a combination of hormonal therapy and radiation therapy postoperatively. And using that methodology, we've been able to double the survival of patients with high-risk prostate cancer from 30% 
at 10 years to 60%. So it's extremely rewarding to be a, a part of the team. We, the scientists, couldn't do this without the clinicians, and the clinicians couldn't do this without um, the scientists. And here at Leahy, it really is a team. I would say we have probably some of the brightest and the best people in urology. This department is a place where the extraordinary becomes ordinary.